Hello, I want to talk to you today about how to use YouTube for effective business marketing. My name is Edwin Dearborn. I'm the author of Power Branding Secrets. And in my book, I talk extensively about an action that you can take to use YouTube marketing to generate more brand awareness, as well as inbound leads that lead to paying clients. YouTube marketing is an effective way to get your content, your brand on page one of Google. And why is that? Because Google owns YouTube. And studies have shown that YouTube videos will outrank a blog post by 50 times. Why? Because YouTube is a Google product and therefore Google will favor Google. So when you do a really good video to market your product or answer questions or somehow uh, engage your audience, Google is going to sh want to show that video above anybody else's content because it is their ecosystem. So Google is very interested in featuring videos that are well produced. So one of the questions I get is, you know, really what are the steps that I take on how to use YouTube as a marketing and lead generation tool? Well, first and foremost, you want to create content that people are going to watch, that people are going to appreciate and engage with. Because if you're creating bad content, Google's not going to rank it no matter how many keywords or how well you optimize it. So while optimization of a YouTube video is critical for its success, you've also got to deliver the goods. You've got to have content that answers people's questions and fulfills searcher intent. Because remember, Google and YouTube are search engines. In fact, Google is the number one search engine on the planet and YouTube is the number two. And people often use the search engine in YouTube to answer questions like how to do this or how to fix that or why is this or insights and, and information that's going to alleviate a problem or overcome a challenge or create an opportunity for them. So you want your video to be well optimized, but again, content that fulfills what they're looking for. So now, what are the first steps to creating a great YouTube video for marketing your business? Well, number one, you want to do market research. All marketing is founded upon research. And what I commonly ask the brands I work with is, you know, what are the top questions or challenges that people are coming to you with? What are the top 10 questions? What are the top 10 challenges? And we list that out and we start to create a list or a storyboard, if you will, of, you know, what are we going to talk about? Like in this video, I know that a lot of businesses want to use YouTube to market their business. So I'm doing a tutorial video on how to market your business with YouTube videos. Okay. Well, a chiropractor could answer questions about how to get pain relief or how to lose weight. A real estate agent could do videos on how to find the best property or how to sell a home or how to stage a home for maximum price. You get the idea. So we want to find out what are the top 10 things, maybe top 20 or even 30, if you have a lot of uh, videos in mind that you would want to create. Then once we do the research based on what searchers and what audiences want, we then go to keyword tools like Google Keyword Planner and we find out how people are searching for those questions online because they may state it one way verbally, but then they research it on online another. And we want to find that sweet spot between how audiences are answer, asking the questions of you and how they're answering or asking them online. So once we've done our homework, now we kind of draft our stories on each point, each keyword, each subject. What are we going to say? The video should be no more than five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes long if it's very technical and you're going over different steps like I'm doing in this video right here. Okay, now we have our storyboard. We know it's around keywords. We know it's going to fulfill search or intent. What's the next thing we do? Well, we actually create the video. And one of the common problems that people think that they need to overcome is I don't have a lot of equipment. I don't have great lighting. I, I don't have experience. I'm shooting this on an iPhone 6. An iPhone 6 is good enough for do-it-yourself. Now, yes, there are services that I offer, and I've used services of others to create very highly technical video uh, with, you know, great equipment 
editing, intros, outros, all this branding stuff, lower thirds with my name on it, and those have a place. But videos like this that are answering questions also have a place. And you can do many of these videos right in your own office, like I'm doing now, with an iPhone, and people are more than satisfied with videos that are created like this if they really deliver the goods and they deliver the content. So now we've got to create the content, do it on an iPhone if you want it professionally done. You can contact my, someone like myself or someone else that delivers video marketing services. Okay, so now we've created the content. Now you have to optimize that video. You upload it and you want to make sure that not only is the keyword in the title of the video, but you want to have content that's below the video that has a good, um, well, it's got contextual information that really describes what the video is because Google needs those words to know what the video is about. As well, you should be putting a link to either your landing page or your website, as well as your contact information like your phone number. Because people can go from your video to your website or your landing page, as well as contact you. And this is where we now, after building authority through the content, we drive people to your website or your phone number. Again, we not only want to create value with the content, we want to now put people in a sales funnel and create sales opportunities for our business. And this can work just as well for local brands who are optimizing for local search terms, such as restaurants or real estate agents or coaches who service a very specific geographical area. Google will feature your videos in those geographical zones if you really do a great optimization job. And then third, the tags. The audience can't see the tags, but the tags is also another key point where you can put in uh, not only your keyword, but associated keywords with your uh, video. And this, again, is another way to let Google know how to rank your video. So if you're going to be uh, a real estate agent in Los Angeles, my tags could be real estate agent Los Angeles, best real estate agent Los Angeles, how to find a real estate agent in Los Angeles. See, I'm finding associated keywords and phrases with the one I'm trying to rank for. So Google gets an idea that I can rank for more than just one keyword. Okay, now I've, I've created the storyboard, I've created the content, I've optimized the video itself. Now comes the job of distribution. There's basically two ways to distribute it. There's the free ways and then there's the paid ways. The free ways are uh, the, the non-paid ways, I should say, are ways that you distribute it through social media. You send it to your email list and ask them to watch the video. You can send it to co-branding uh, partners. You can upload it to blogs. You can attach it to press releases. Um, uh, that press releases can be free and they also can be paid. Um, but you get the idea. You, you take the video and you have to make sure it's just as important or even more important that you're actually distributing the content as well as creating the content. Because if people don't see it, then what good is the content? So be proactive. And, and one of the things that I do, I'll give you a couple tips that are free, is you can upload your video or attach the link to it to Reddit on several subreddits. So if you're a real estate agent, I can upload it to all the different cities within Orange County to their subreddits. This builds links as well as I can retweet that video with different hashtags over the coming days and again, engage more people and drive more traffic. But if you just do it the, 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 the non-paid ways, you're not going to get the leverage that you want. And the two best ways that you can get your video seen and drive a lot of business is through paid advertising. I suggest that you use Facebook. We've had a lot of success in taking YouTube videos, also uploading them, what are called Facebook dark posts, targeting specific audiences, getting those people to watch the video, driving traffic to the business. This is a great way. As well as, because Google owns YouTube, you can use the Google software or the platform, Google AdWords, to also drive traffic to your video through YouTube ads. YouTube, just like Facebook, allows you extreme hyper-targeting, meaning you can target specific audiences, age groups, people that like certain things, even geographically, like a restaurant may have their YouTube ad only appear to people within a five mile radius. If you're using these paid methods as well as the free methods, you're gonna drive more business 
to your video. Now, here's another way you can use the video. Before you do a presentation to someone, if you've got a great video that explains or answers questions, very often what I'll do is I'll send an email before my meeting saying, hey, check out this link. I want you to watch this video about the services I offer. It'll answer a lot of questions before we meet. What this does is it allows to have uh, you to be your own video ambassador, if you will, even before the meeting, which sets you up for a better interview. Um, YouTube videos for business, really each video is like a little mini salesperson that you've hired. The great thing about a YouTube video is it's out there 24 seven in the ecosystem of YouTube and Google talking about your brand. And so the more videos that you create that answer more questions around top keywords, you've got these little video ambassadors, these little video salespeople out there talking about you, driving traffic. It's evergreen content, and when YouTube for business marketing is done right, I'm telling you, it's been a big success for me. It's been a big, big success for my clients. If you want to know more about how to do this, I've given just an overview in this video. Purchase my book, Power Branding Secrets. I have multiple chapters on video marketing as well as strategies on how to create on-point video content on how to get people to find your business and generate not only higher brand awareness, but actual customers. And that's what we want when we're marketing a business. We want all this content to eventually create enough trust in people that they want to do business with you, spend money with you, and do business with you for a long time. This has been Edwin Dearborn. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please like it, please share it, and again, if you ever need help with your YouTube marketing, please reach out to me at Edwin Dearborn on Twitter or edwindearborn.com. All right, bye-bye.